Second wave of pager device explosion has hit Lebanon, killing more than 20 people and wounding more than 450 in Hezbollah strongholds. This comes a day after the sudden explosion of several paging devices used by Hezbollah. Two back-to-back -back explosions have killed almost 32 people and 3,000 people have been injured altogether. Meanwhile, Lebanese government and Hezbollah both have blamed Israel for the attack. However, the U.S. has denied the accusations of any involvement in the explosions. Brian Thomas is joining us for more on this story. Uh, Brian, uh, uh, clearly, of course, uh, Lebanon in a state of shock after this attack. Is Hezbollah threatening retribution after this incident? Uh, well, Uday, definitely, you know, a day after pagers used by hundreds of members of the Lebanese armed group Hezbollah, the communication exploded almost simultaneously. Now the walkie-talkies used by them also exploded on Wednesday also. Now, even post that also two days, there were rather two days back to that deadly pager and walkie-talkie explosion across Lebanon. Lebanon has left a very, uh, you know, distinct psychological impact also on the country's population as well. Now, people in Lebanon are definitely in fear of everyday communication devices following two days of back-to-back -back deadly pager and walkie-talkie explosions. And even Israel has also said that its war, uh, rather says a new era of war is becoming after the device uh, exploded across Lebanon. Now, it says that its war focus is moving north and acknowledging its role in shock between attacks on Hezbollah in which pages and walkie-talkies used exploded across uh, Lebanon on consecutive days. Now, Iran also, Uday, uh, very important to note that it also promises action after it even ambassador to Lebanon injured in attack. Now, Iran has said it will re respond after its ambassador to Lebanon, um, Mostawa Amani, was wounded in the exploding phaser attack targeting Hezbollah, which killed more than 30 people, which included children also, and injured around 3,250 across the country. Now, the, uh, the, it, was, it also resulted in a lot of injury also to the ambassador also. And rather, uh, it also required to measure deem necessary to respond to such heinous crime and violation as well, as even said by UN. Now, even Japan firm also says that the production of devices used in the Lebanon blast was discontinued in 2014 because the logo also came in. And Japanese radio equipment maker Ecom Incorporated also stated that it cannot confirm whether the two-day radio reportedly involved in explosion in Lebanon was shipped by the company and the device in question, uh, which requires batteries that were discontinued nearly a decade ago, as said by Japanese firm also, and has said that it's been out of production since uh, 2014. And now uh, Japan's Ecom probes also, they're also probing radio devices that carry its logo after Lebanon blast that happened. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.